August 25th. What is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe? According to the working of his mighty power, Ephesians 1, 19. Divine power, not less than love, is a perfection we shall require at every step of our yet untried and unknown path. We shall have needs which none but the power that multiplied the five loaves to supply the hunger of the five thousand can meet. Difficulties, which none but the power that asks, Is anything too hard for me, says the Lord, can overcome. Enemies, with whom none but the power that resisted Satan, vanquished death, and broke from the grave can cope. All this power is on our side, if our trust is in the Lord. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, exclaims Jesus. This power which the Lord exerts on our behalf, and in which he invites us to trust, is made perfect in weakness. Hence, we learn the same lesson that teaches us the utter lack of strength in ourselves. And when the Lord has reduced our confidence and weakened our strength, as in the case of Gideon, whose army he reduced from 32,000 men to 300, he then puts forth his power, perfects it in our weakness, gives us the victory, and secures to himself all the praise. Go forward, relying upon the power of Jesus to do all in us and accomplish all for us power to subdue our sins, power to keep our hearts, power to uphold our steps, power gently to lead us over rough places, firmly to keep us in smooth places, skillfully to guide us through crooked paths, and safely to conduct us through all perils, fully to vindicate us from all assaults, and completely to cover our heads in the day of battle. Invincible is that soul thus clad in the penalty of Christ's power. The power which belongs to him as God, and the power he possesses as mediator, is all exerted in the behalf of those who put their trust in him. You have given him power, or his own words, over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. Child of God, Gird yourself for duties, toils, and trials, strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And when the stone of difficulty confronts you, lying perhaps heavily upon some buried mercy, hear him ask you, before he rolls it quite away, do you believe that I am able to do this? Oh, that your trusting heart may instantly respond, yes, Lord, I believe, I trust, for with you all things are possible.